Arr, welcome back everybody. So it has been several days, well in game days that is, same day for me as the last episode, but uh, several days and what I did is I went ahead and put together that melee mech. Problem with the Firestarter OD, if you have a look at it, I was going to use this as a melee mech and I had completely forgotten that we can't. The reason being is that we don't have any hands or lower arms, which is a big problem. Because uh, in order to use the hatchet or like um, some of the other melee stuff, you need to have hands. So we had to use the trebuchet. Let's have a look at this guy. Now, this is designed solely for melee. So we've got the hatchet. We were able to get it in here. Um, got this on the arm. Um, and then we've also got a fire fist on this hand, uh, which is nice. And then we've got medium X pulse and a medium laser as kind of backup weapons. Plus a couple of rocket pack 20s. Just if we get into position and we've got a good chance to use them, we're going to go ahead and do that. Guardian ECM, fire control system critical that we picked up last episode. We put that in there. Slick Sweet we threw in. Um, it's the same as the, um, the uh, what's it called? Uh, where are you here? The SLDF cockpit, except that it gives the uh, bonus sensors... Um, and uh, um, sight in um, the aura range to lance mates and also gives plus one to initiative to lance mates which is awesome guardian ecm we got four jump jets two improved two regular so we have some good distance to jump heavy gyro which is going to really help out um, excellent uh, stability for this guy uh, we've also got a mask i gotta remember to turn this on and off um, and my my thought is this we run in we punch with the mask we turn it off right and then we can use the jump jets to jump the hell out if we have to. Um, so it'll be run in, fire, or run in and punch. Then the next turn we fire our weapons, and then we jump out. So that's the thought, jumping in behind cover, whatever. Um, that way we can limit the amount of time the mask is turned on, so we don't have to worry about me uh, being stupid and having <laughs> this thing <laughs> um, go ahead and destroy itself uh, which I'm kind of famous for so we're gonna <laughs> attempt to do that now we're gonna go right back here some of our pilots increase their skills I just have a quick look here um, so our affair is on we gave him extra gunnery just to increase the, the range um, arc light we gave I think it was increased tactics we did um, just for the called shot bonus um, Dust Raker stayed the same. GV, I gave him more gunnery just for a better chance to hit with the flamers and stuff. And it also gives him plus 10% increased range, which is good for having for when you're a short range mech uh, to add that extra increased range. And then Witness gained one gunnery as well. So he's got gunnery six now. So we're going to go gunnery on him next to get, increase the range with the weapons. All right, let's jump into a contract here. So uh, I already know what we're going to do jump straight into where are you is it mopping up no it is hostile acquisitions so Goliath scorpion uh, is transporting a convoy or has got a convoy in the way we are to destroy the convoy and recover the minerals so we're going to go ahead and do this full salvage see how our melee mech does in this one so i'm going to leave gv out with this one it's weird you think you know you want to be be bringing in a flamer mech against the clans but witness is so good at what he does we're going to leave him in for now um, and yeah, that's uh, this is how we're going to run this. So let's go ahead and deploy. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Okay, we got no support, and this is going to be them coming straight down our throats. All right, beautiful. Isn't that just wonderful? Okay, so uh, this map, there's really two ways you can run this. Um, you could push forward and go straight into the convoy this way, or you could move back and hopefully absorb their main attack by using the hill here, which is what we're going to do um, to start. The reason why I'm going this way is I have no idea what to expect from the clans. Um, and if we go up this way and go straight into them, they're going to get all of these guys are going to get a shot at us right away. And that could be very, very bad. So I want to be able to control and absorb whatever attack they're going to throw at us. Now it is clans too, so it's another thing I'm worried about. How far can we jump with this guy? Holy, that's nice. That's a freaking nice jump. Roger 
I'm really interested to see how this this uh, this uh, trebuchet does. Now I've almost completely maxed the armor on it. There's only a few spots that have reduced armor, but it's almost completely maxed out armor wise. I'm really hoping that not all vehicles, if they if they are, the trebuchet is going to have a field day. All right. Um, why can you not? Oh, we can't get up that way. <gasps> That's going to be a problem. These guys are fast. Um, that's going to be a big problem. What do we got here? Chiquita 2. What do you need? I forgot. We Most of our guys have got good jump here. Let's get up over here. Look at that. Okay, so those are... Escorts, Solitaire, Chiquita, not going to fire. We want to get our stability. Oh, man, really? We could flank. Let's flank with our furs on. All right, what do we got back here now? Joust, full armor, Scorpion, full armor, Zora. Kit Fox, so not bad. The defenders are lower armored. That's a side shot, six and a half, eh? Eight and a half, ten and a half for the Kit Fox. Kit Fox, it is, I guess. I bet you this is the um, that's the Goss rifle version, I think. Gonna try some death from above this match too. It's one thing I haven't done in a long time is death from above. The only time I, I don't think I've ever done it in any of our series. The only time I think I've done it was um, in the original Battletech when I was playing by myself. But we might try some of that in this because we got a really good jump. Like a really good jump. I'm interested to see how far we can move with the mask on too. He's bracing. That might be our first target. Well, if we don't all have fire support, then forget it. But if we can all move up and get in fire support on, on these guys back here, then we'll go after that solitaire, I think. So what is that guy? Thorn. All right, not so worried about that. Um, so our sprint, actually not that bad. And if we, I think it's... Yeah. Let's get the mask on. Shit, that's way better. Do we want to go right up these guys' noses? Try for a quick kill on them? Oh yeah, they got 10 guys. Panther 2C. This guy didn't move. Wow, Fire Fists can hit from this range? Sure, man. We'll take that. Uh, we're going to dump everything straight into this guy. Hope for a quick kill. Nope. But we are in melee range now, so... That looked like a carrier. Yep, probably a hybrid LRM ATM carrier. These guys are fast. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks for damaging your own guys. Appreciate it. Yes, 
All right, we can turn off the mask. We now step on this guy? Why is it not giving us the melee option here? Just this guy. Oh, there it is. Ninety-seven damage. It's double, I think, though. Let's see if we can claim this vehicle. Beautiful. That's the fire fist. Yeah, baby. Back into melee, guys. We're back into melee. Let's get some fire support in there. Now, where is that? We can't get shot in that carrier. Zora. Pair of Zoras. Scorpion. Forty percent. Forty-six with the Kit Fox, eh? 52 for this Zora. Wow. 39. Seventy-one. Let's see if we can shred the solitaire here. Yeah, he had it. He's like, I didn't sign on for this shit. Okay. It's two down, eight to go. Two to one odds. Good enough odds for any Farazonian. Let's push these guys, see if we can make them scatter. Well, the vehicles won't scatter, but the uh, mechs might. I think we're going to handle, I think we're going to let um, the melee mech, let's let Dustraker handle all the vehicles. Wow, terrible. Nah, dude, you're fine. You just need a higher gunnery to increase your gut, your uh, your uh, range by 10%. Yeah, that guy's oh, he's not running. Just backing up. He's got the PPC. Definitely need to find. An, an, uh, we need a mech that's got two hands. Because the uh, trebuchet doesn't have two hands, so we couldn't put a milli uh, the milli fist on the. Uh, or the melee hand on the other arm. But I'm glad we were able to get that axe into play. Oh yeah, we got more than just what you see there, guys. We got some guys right over here. Um, yeah, that's probably a pretty good spot for the barrage. Let's see if we can shred this guy. I'm going to leave the rockets on. going to throw them up early. Hopefully we can devastate this guy. Yeah, see ya. That's a lot of damage. Enemy mech destroyed. Long range missiles depleted. Surprise, motherfuckers! This guy took some good damage. Scorpion, not so bad. Yeah, it's a hybrid. We gotta get in there and get that guy. It's got ATMs. Um, can we get that? We can get him from here. I don't think it's a good idea to be that close to Kit Fox though, but we're super evasive, so let's get into here. 
Super evasive. Good chances to hit. We'll take them. Oh. Really? Dude. Okay, we're going to step on the scorpion and shred this guy with arc light. And I'm going to push straight in with the Talos. Going to go right after that carrier if we can. Yeah, Got it. yeah one of our MMLs is down. Okay, change of plans. Talos has got to go after this guy. How fast is the scorpion, though? He might be able to dart away. What do we go on? 15 and 13 now? Okay, Thorne's making a break for it. Need something, Chief? Yeah, baby. Hardcore, you know the score. Out. Yeah, man. Add insult to injury. Reporting. One last view. You got that right. This guy's been damaged. Wow. Been shredded. Okay. Ah, he's moving. Okay, we're going to get into here. We're going to do a multi-target on this. Can we see? We can't actually target the... Uh, okay. Fair enough. Kick Fox. And this guy. B will take the... Standard or dead fire? Let's go with dead fire. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully we get him. Let's go this route. Yeah, man. See ya. Enemy unit destroyed. Just the carrier left, looks like. Ow. Warning. Armor low. What do you need? Can you shred that carrier, please? Is hurting us. It hurts. It hurts. Wonder if we got enough for a. Uh, so I got his gauss rifle. Wonder if we got enough for a um, a masked sprint up there. We might be able to do it without the mask. This guy's going to be a step. Yeah. What's up, huh? Yep, you can certainly get up here for this guy. Let's get over to the side so that at least the Kit Fox isn't behind us if we don't kill him. And 59, eh? Let's do it. Come on, hit him. Let's do this. Yeah. Burn the crew. Don't let anyone survive. Yeah. What can I do for you? So evil. See if we can finish this guy up. Burn through his side here. Here it comes. Yeah, baby. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. All right, we just got our Ferrazon left. Go after that pan. Oh, he's running. Oh, is he jumping? He's really a terrible pilot. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do this. And we want to sprint. Can we get behind him? We can't. Get over here, though. 
I was really hoping not to blow his arm off, but if we have to, we have to. Alright, keep firing at him. Yeah, one hit anyway. Panther or Thorn? Panther. What's he doing? He's thinking about it. Hopping up and down. They still haven't fixed that, eh? The little bob that this thing has. It's got something weird going on with its leg. Oh, he's gonna melee. No, 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 no. See, that's not how you... Not how you melee. Can I... Can I... Can I let school you on how melee is done? It's done like this. You get a big guy like this to come around and then clobber you. No joy. No joy. That's for sure. Flames on the way, huh? Well, we're standing in them. Not much we can do about it. Where are you here? Right there. Screw it. Shoot him. This guy's tough. Uh, let's go with the SRM Deadfire, see how that does. Yeah, pretty good. Tango down. Shredded him. Well, we cored, he's dead. He's cored, but still standing there. He's, his mech is just complete in complete shock that he's still, uh, that he got wiped out that quick, but whatever. No, he's got stuff. Oh, this guy's all yours, man. You know what? It's getting close to the end, so... Death from above. Execute the death from above. We missed. I don't normally like doing it because it takes so much damage to the legs. If we can get some good leg gear for that, It'll be worth it, but at the moment it's just not worth it. <laughs> I don't blame you. Just run. Run! Report minimal damage. Your weapons are no more use here. Run! Ooh, the barrage is back, but we're not using it. Alright, we're cooled off. Firing on this guy again. See ya. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 25%. Beautiful. Yeah, pretty good across the board. Dust rate. Yeah, this took a bit of damage. See, like the 80 damage. That's a lot of damage in the legs. Yeah, we took a big hit from those ATMs. But wow, total pen on that. Yeah, that was an ATM hit. Let's see what they got ATM wide. Now we got three pieces of salvage. I don't think there's anything here we can assemble. We got one out of five of the Panther 2C. Don't know if we want to take that though. Clan AMS. It's a half a ton. Ooh, ATM 12. How much do these things weigh? Seven tons. That's a possibility. ER large as we've got. Clan Goss rifle. 12 tons. Light tag is probably going to be worth it, but I don't know if I'll take it. LMGs, no. LRM10s, eh. Medium pulses. Regular tag. Probes. Battle computer missile and tracking. Case 2. That's a possibility. 250 core. We were waiting for one of those. Clan XL. Do we have any of these right now? We don't have any. Let's take the Clan XL. Um, 
this will save us half a ton on the um, trebuchet if we take that which could go into armor we need to put a little bit more armor on it clan double heatsink kit another mask clan this is better than the mask we have so I'm going to take that. That can go in the trebuchet. AMS ammo. ATM ammo. HE we don't have. Ultra 5. Well, let's hope we get some ATM ammo. I'm not going to go with any of the ATMs. Clan double heat sinks we don't have. I wonder if we do this too. Because this will be an upgrade as well for the trebuchet. Although that light tag would be nice, but we're going to go this route. I know we can use all of these, so we're going to go this route. Okay, Thorn Piece, we got the AMS, the ERPPC, Medium Pulse, Clan Armor, Battle Computer Missile, some Jump Jets, LBX-5 Slug Ammo, and Narc Beacon Ammo, which is actually good because we, we do have a Narc Beacon, we just didn't have any ammo for it. Okay. Yeah, 89,000. We knew it was going to be high. It is the clans too, after all. I mean, we did shred them, but they did some good damage in return. So I'm going to jump systems. I'm going to end this episode here, because I want to jump systems. going to get the trebuchet updated. It's going to take a little while to do that. And then uh, we're going to go to a two-skull planet, I think. Um, at least two skull, maybe two and a half. I don't know. We'll see. One and a half skull seems to be just a little under where we need to be. Uh, two skulls, I think, is probably going to be perfect, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe two, two and a half. Uh, we're working with a pretty good team now, and I think what we'll do is, once we get a few more sea bills, is, wow, we're we're barely going to make our financial report. <laughs> okay, I think we have to put that OD in storage for now before we jump, but uh, I'll sell a bunch of crap before we leave, and then I think I want to try and get. Uh, if we go to engineering, I know it's going to start costing us a lot, but if we can increase our drop size by one, we'll be able to field five. That might be the way to go. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, but we're definitely going to jump systems and I'll sell some stuff. All right, I'm going to end this episode here. I know it was quick. Sorry about that. But uh, if you enjoyed it, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.